Hello and welcome to the overview of the Dexian Design Portal software provided to give you an idea about where things are in the software that we provide. Uh, first of all, you'll see that there's three individual areas, a library browser, this has got infrared commands, RS-232 and IP commands stored, an image gallery for the layouts for your mobile devices and KPCs and sounds. Uh, also a project viewer, this is a, a build of your particular project and an area where a specific product is located where you can individually um, set these things up. Uh, file, save and import next port user databases as gives you the ability to save and provide your user database of IR commands, RS-232 and IP commands to other people in the organization if, if you need to share them. Um, edits for cutting and pasting and adding commands into the database. Tools you can download from a specific device, a KPC, um, KPD, Amplifier and our four products. You can download the programming and, and uh, bring them into the design portal if you've gone out to a site. The advanced setting is uh, for firmware updates and a very important piece of software enables you to look at the diagnostics inside each particular product so you can then it's a very powerful way of finding out whether or not products are communicating and if you have any issues in the field what's going on. Uh, docking, uh, you can lay out your design layout uh, and, and uh, pin and unpin and dock particular products and view them as you see fit. Uh, first off, a public library, this is the non-adjustable area where you have um, infrared commands and IP commands. We'll look first at some IR commands and an amplifier. Uh, zone 1 say, um, there's a source command, we can view it, uh, look at the particular parts that are made up of this particular command, uh, view the hex code and also analyse the waveform. Uh, in the same respect we can look at an IP command um, in the same area. And, uh, Look at this, see what port we're sending commands to, uh, carriage return in, uh, at the end, and uh, look at an hex or ASCII commands. Uh, image gallery, there is two uh, different um, devices that we're catering for, a high res and a low res. The low res is a KPC. We can view this area in large icons, small. Uh, we'll grab a Cosmos, one click brings it in. Um, this is a pre laid out template that we've done for you with all the zones and allocations done already. The zone and source selection names will come from the amplifier. So these have been pre set up so that a uh, it's an Axiom Source 1 command and it will grab that from the location or the zone one that it's in so it will interrogate the amplifier and get that information at, at first startup uh, and we also have a simulator for this device so you can look at how it works um, see how the page jumps go uh, make sure you've got page jump allocations to the right place uh, we don't want it to start on this page for a client we're actually just doing multi-room so we can call this page um, just the the home page um, without actually going into um, um, selecting multi uh, home automation functions so we've changed it from what was the home page with all these extra selections just into multi room audio and play takes us straight there so again these sources will come up as as uh, pre-named from the amplifier so you don't have to bother about them same with volume and power commands. Uh, because we have uh, provided you with a predefined layout, there is also the ability in here to provide you with all the buttons associated with that layout so you can create your own um, layouts yourself. So a button can be dragged onto a screen uh, and in the same light, a predefined numeric template can be dragged on and moved around. Uh, this means you can add in buttons as you as you see fit, move them around, use all your standard lining up um, and image functionality. Uh, double click on a button, uh, you can show images and you can see which button where, uh, where, where images are and how they're laid out. Again, this will be covered in, a, in more depth in another module. 
In the same way as we have a KPC, we have a high resolution uh, gallery. Again, we provide you with some templates. Um, so if we view these in medium icons, we can see we've got an iPad in Cosmos. We'll grab an iPhone, automatically populates it for us, and we can pin this. We unpin the KPC. Uh, we can see that it um, disappears to the side, and you'll be able to grab it back if you want. Okay, let's look at the uh, um, this device. Again, we can show it and run a simulator. Go home. Control lights. If we don't want some of these buttons on on the page, uh, we don't have to keep them there. We can rotate it to so show you what it looks like in horizontal mode. And rotate back to vertical. Just so you can mainly see what the, that you've got your layout and your buttons and your page jumps correct and that everything looks fine. Uh, if we didn't want to have lights on the bottom of the page, we can let's slip, simply delete them and, and remove them off. It's that simple. If we want to move the whole area, we can grab and drop and move commands around, move buttons around and resize them. Uh, there is in the project viewer um, if you're just working on one of these devices you don't need to actually set up a project but uh, when you are using it with amplifiers in a project you need to set up these uh, these icons use these icons to set up a particular project so we're generally at an equipment rack and in that equipment rack we would add devices like amplifiers and uh, our full controller perhaps another amplifier and these devices are located under the equipment rack we can then also pin and unpin them uh, if we want to look at these particular products this is an amplifier layout and some of the specific commands associated with it now the amplifier will get its names zone names from these locations so you only have to do it once to cover all these amplifiers so we'll add a few zones And as you'll see, they're, they're preloading with zone names. If you didn't want to call it bedroom, uh, we can rename it and call it pool. And these zone names will come out as part of the preloaded functions in the amplifiers, as this is set at zone 1 to 8, and this is zone 9 to 16 as we've added them in. Okay, uh, we generally call the equipment rack the first in the list, so we'll move it up to there. Uh, location one has got a um, two keypads and an iPhone this iPhone can obviously move around the house but it will at boot at start up load equipment uh, control for zone one which you can then change if it's going to be mainly res residing in uh, say the bathroom or say the pool we can drop it into that area and so these original layouts that this iPhone is going to have on the original page home page uh, they will become a part of zone 3 at boot. Uh, we can keep on loading more rooms in to suit the amplifiers that we've got, which are in the equipment rack, and the source names from the amplifiers come up on these source labels. Those sources will then pre-populate onto that particular page. Okay, very brief overview of, of where things are located and how things go together. Um, as you can see, if you have a KPC uh, located in Zone 1, the control for these for Zone 1 will come because it's been located in Zone 1. So this Cosmos template, it's got power, um, volume up and down, and mute, and source names which will be arriving as it interrogates zone 1. So it knows where it is. So really all you have to do is go and drag IR commands onto these pages. Uh, and uh, and you can do those by, let's have a look at say, roll down to an Integra. CD player, grab that device, drag it onto the page. And these buttons will pre-populate with Integra to skip eject etc so very very quickly you can have this particular cosmos template uh, laid out with infrared commands uh, and all the zone applicable for that zone but you can also once you've done your infrared commands um, copy it and paste it into uh, zone 4 which will now have another cosmos template and this will 
have all the infrared commands that you've already allocated for this device CD already already done for you and the zoning of volume and power mute and source selection will be pre-populated for you so very quick okay very quick overview we will go in now and look at uh, some specific functionality of individual devices